Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're gonna to go over one of our new inventory units. This is a 2024 Cimarron Lone Star stock trailer. It's a 24 foot stock combo. Set up on a slant wall with this kind of passenger side swing out tack room. It's a really cool little concept we did in the stall area too, kind of, you can do cattle, you can do you know sheep, stuff like that, but we also give you the option, since we set it up on a slant wall, to kind of run horses or horses and cattle together. We'll start off here on this front tack room. <clears throat> it is a 42 inch wide door with a swing out saddle rack. We like doing that bigger door with our swing out saddle rack. One, it gives you more space to get your saddles cleared out that door, but it also gives you the option to be able to walk by your saddles with your saddle rack still swung out, which is really handy because you're not having to swing it in and out every time you want to come in the trailer. So we have it set up with a four tier carpeted saddle rack. These are fully adjustable on this post. You just loosen these two little nuts and you can slide them up and down or completely remove them if you only want to do three or if you want to add a fifth one, super easy to do so. But it operates on a little gas piston. So once you get it pushed in, it'll kind of pull those saddles in for you. Same thing when you pull it out, you can get it to a certain point and it'll pull your saddles out for you as well. So it's really handy, especially once you get, you know, four big heavy saddles on there, you're letting that piston do all the work and you're not doing the work. Here on our door, so again, since it is a bigger 42 inch wide door, it gives us the ability to mount your blanket bars directly to that door. They are on a swing out gas piston as well. So again, super handy to be able to slide all your blankets on directly straight and not have to fight that door, fight your other blankets. And then again, you can swing it over to the door and that piston's gonna hold your blankets tight against that door. So when you get where you're going, your blankets aren't laying on the ground, they didn't come off that bar. Below that, we do have our three compartment brush tray. It is separated into kind of three little compartments. They are drainable as well. So if you have a fly spray that leaks, something like that, it is gonna contain it to one of these three compartments, keep your other stuff from getting nasty, and it's also gonna drain out the bottom as well. We do have a fold-up step equipped on this big door. Again, pretty much anything we're ordering for inventory, we are throwing a fold-up step to any tack rooms. It's just super handy. It eliminates about eight foot of having, or eight inches more of having to climb into this trailer, and it's super, super handy. Again, held up by one of those gas pistons as well. <clears throat> up here in our tack room, we have our fully carpeted gooseneck deck, drop wall. We do have a split boot box down here. Again, gives you some nice storage area, but also serves as a nice step up into here. If you're storing stuff in here, if you have a mattress up there, something like that, it just gives you a nice easy step up into that gooseneck. On our passenger side wall up high, we do have a storage tray for your plexiglass on this trailer. So this is a stock combo. It is a plexiglass sided trailer. If you want to pull that plexiglass out on a hot summer day, you have an easy place to put it out of the way and it's not bouncing around, getting stepped on, getting broke or shipped. Driver side wall, we do have our full shelf. It is a two inch lip shelf. So again, anything thrown here can't roll out. It's a rubber bottom, so it's kind of grippy. You don't have to worry about stuff rolling off this while you're traveling. And then below that, we do have a little clothes rod. So again, taking show clothes with you, taking raincoats, slickers, stuff like that. Here in our partition wall, we do have a set of bridle hooks high, set of bridle hooks low, fully carpeted behind our bridle hooks. Again, keeping that noise down for your horses while you're traveling. Your bridles aren't banging around, making a bunch of noise. It's gonna keep your trailer looking a lot nicer so your bridles aren't scratching up your trailer and your trailer's not scratching up your bridles. And then behind me over here in this corner, we do have a 25 gallon corner water tank. Again, super handy to be able to take water from home with you. Some horses are picky and don't like to drink, you know, water that they're not used to. So this always gives you the ability and the peace of mind to always have water with you and always have water that usually your horses will drink more so than, you know, hydrant water, gas station water, stuff like that. So again, super handy to have in a trailer. We're throwing these on a lot of our inventory trailers as well. And if you have a trailer or you're ordering a trailer, we can always throw these on your trailer for you as well. Coming down the side of this trailer, you will see it is a silver metallic color. It's a really cool little color. The cool thing about doing silver metallic, if you don't like white, it gives you, it gets you away from that white color, but you don't get into that black color. Once you get into a black colored trailer, um, it is a quite a bit hotter in your stock area. Again, with Cimarron, Cimarron's insulated roof, you're not gonna have to worry about it as much. But this is kind of that good in between. You get a nice silver color and it's gonna stay a lot cooler for your horses as well. Up high, we do have our LED light out here for your saddling area. It's a 16 inch awning light. So again, if you're saddling off that tack room or you're tying horses out for the night, you do have enough light to be able to check on them. Full plexiglass inserts all the way down this trailer. Again, I showed you guys that storage area. So if you wanna take your plexiglass out and just run open sides, you'll have that handy area up front to store it all. Down low, we do have our three tie rings per side. We'll have three on your other side as well. With it being a 610 wide trailer, we do have our full length running board running all the way up to that fold up step. 
The axles on this trailer are two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. Again, they come in um, with these rubber torsion axles. They're really nice because if you're taking sharp turns, they will flex with your trailer. Sometimes you might look back and you'll see a tire flexed out and thinks it, look, thinks it looks a little funky. Um, but that's kind of the purpose of these axles. It's really going to help eliminate the wear on your tire, tires and axles. As far as when you're doing sharp turns and stuff, that rubber bar inside that torsion axle is really going to help benefit you on taking sharp turns. It's really going to add to the life of your tires as well. In our rear portion of this trailer on your load side, we do have our full rear gate. Again, plexiglass insert high and low. We have a load light here on the back. Again, giving you guys enough light while you're loading horses, offloading horses, you're not getting in a jam, your horses are being safe. Um, gives you just enough light to check on them. Of course, the floor in this Cimarron trailer, which is the same floor you're gonna get no matter what Cimarron you order. It is a 100% aluminum floor built on four inch centers. This is the strongest floor you can get in the horse trailer industry today. Most manufacturers will do you know, 10, 12 inch centers, somewhere in that range. By doing a four inch center, no matter what animal you're hauling, wherever they're standing, they are gonna be standing directly over a V-truss support. Again, super strong floor it is the strongest floor you can get. And then we just have rubber mats over the top of that. Up in this trailer, again, you'll see this white roof. It is a polycarbonate honeycomb roof. So again, insulates this trailer. It'll be about 20 degrees cooler in this trailer than it is outside the trailer or a trailer with a non-insulated, just kind of an aluminum sheet roof. The other good benefit of this roof is it's really gonna hold up to hail substantially. You know, we've had some trailers with just aluminum sheeted roofs, some hailstorms in the past that roll through here. Anything with an aluminum sheeted roof gets dinged up pretty good. We just had a hailstorm a couple months ago and all of our Cimarron's were fine. All of our aluminum sheeted roofs got dinged up pretty good in the hailstorm. So benefit is, you know, it keeps the temperature regulated, but it's also a really, really stout roof that's gonna hold up to hail really well. On our passenger side frame wall over here, we do have two LED lights. Again, you can switch them on from the back of the trailer. It'll give you ample light, both for these front two stalls that rear saw as well. I talked a little bit about the beginning or in the beginning of the video about how you can kind of set this up as a dual purpose trailer. So we have two cut gates set up on a slant. Typically in a stock trailer, you're only gonna have about one center cut gate for a trailer this size. But we wanted to give you guys the ability to you know lock a stud horse off in this front stall or give you the ability to haul hay, grain totes and keep it out of your stock area as well. So you can use this as a stud stall for your horse while you load cattle on the back, stuff like that. But then you also have your main center cut gate for this trailer. So you can kind of set this up as a three compartment trailer. Your back two compartments are going to be a little bigger with that stud stall up front. So it makes it really versatile. You can set it up kind of however you'd like. The cool thing I want to point out, again, just kind of one of the little things Cimarron does that makes them a top in the industry. You'll notice this gate rests on a little support post. One of the only manufacturers I've seen that actually will build a support post for that gate to latch on. A lot of times, if you don't have that post and you're running gates open like this, if you're really trying to fill this up with cattle, this gate will just hang there. It will have a latch holding it, but there's no support holding all the way to that gate and that gate will start to sag over time. So you will have that support post. It is a rubber capped or an OHM capped uh, support post. So again, anything we can make metal on plastic with Cimarron, we do just to again, keep that noise down, keep that wear and tear down. Metal on plastic doesn't quite wear as hard as metal on uh, metal does, and it's a lot quieter for your horses as well. So you'll notice up top, we do have that same plastic OHM that it will latch metal on plastic. So again, keeping the noise down, keeping the wear and tear down, anything we can do in this trailer. For example, our latch is over here in the corner. It is gonna be a plastic OHM uh, latch that'll catch that metal and again, keep the noise and wear down in this trailer. It is equipped with an escape, escape door in your front stud stall here. Again, super handy if you're you know, not only hauling a stud horse, but if you want to you know, use this front stall as more of, a, more of a storage area, haul hay, grain, totes, stack up everything. You can pretty much stack floor to ceiling in this front stall with that being a full stud gate and be able to haul whatever you want, really multi-purpose. And then you do have that escape door in the event of an emergency, you can you know, offload horses, cattle off that door if you need to. So move down to the driver's side, it's gonna look really similar to that passenger side. Same awning light up top, up top for tying out. You do have your plexiglass track on this side. The cool thing about this plexiglass that I didn't mention on the other side is if you are running no plexiglass and you have this stored up front, 
you are gonna have these three tie, tie rings down low, but then you are every 12 inches gonna have a support beam you could tie to as well. So really, if you're not running plexiglass, you have plenty of tie out spots along each side of this trailer. Again, better view of that escape door. It is a chest barred escape door. So again, if you are hauling a horse, they're leaning on this bar and not directly on your door. The cool thing about their little chest bars is sometimes on a chest bar, you'll see they'll kind of be latched similar to like a little paddle latch. Um, Cimarron invented this little ball and kind of coupler deal, so you don't have to worry about having to unpin anything, especially if you have a horse that's getting antsy and wanting to get off. You just go up, that ball will come out of there, it swings off, and then same thing. It's super easy for you guys to latch. You don't really have to worry about having to unpin anything, which is super handy, especially if you have horses that haul a little rougher. In a little bit better view on this side of that silver metallic color. Um, it's a really light color. It's a really cool looking color on this Cimarron. Underneath on our nose, we'll finish off under here. We do have our same matching wheel and tire to the rest of the wheels and tires on this trailer. So if you have a flat, have a blowout, you can throw this on. It's like it never happened and your trailer looks just as good as it did before. It's not just a steel wheel, anything like that. It is a full matching wheel and tire to the set on this trailer. We do have our standard single speed uh, drop jack. Again, we can put an electric over hydraulic jack on here for you through our shop. If you have a trailer you want to do that on, we can do that for you as well. Over here in our corner, something kind of Simple that I just want to show you guys. Um, usually with seven pins, we just coil them up, throw them on a hook, get them out of the way. Cimarron actually gives you a nice little holder to hold your cord out of the way. So while you're hooking up, you're not having to worry about that cord banging on your tailgate, anything like that. Just really slick out of the way. And it's kind of one of those, again, little things that Cimarron takes pride in as far as making a quality trailer for you guys. And up here on our nose, we do have our B&W. This is the new design coupler. Um, so we just, Cimarron designed this with B&W because we were having issues with a lot of people that were you know, wanting to use these Freightliner puller type trucks. And when you go to a Freightliner puller type truck, you, usually your cab is gonna sit a little higher. And we were missing this bottom hole here for our pin because that handle used to stick up in the way. So they went to this low pro handle, which gives you about another three inches of adjustment, which means you should be able to ride perfectly level on a Freightliner type chassis. Um, still be able to operate exactly the same, but again, giving you guys more adjustment. We do have your safety chains, your safety pin, your breakaway brakes, and of course that seven pin cable I showed you guys back there. Again, it's a 2024 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo set up on a slant wall. If you're interested in this trailer, the stock number for this unit is 5N230727. If you're interested in this trailer, some other stock combos we have coming, we try to order them in a few different setups to kind of hit every little point that someone might need in a trailer, whether it be a strict cattle trailer, a cattle and horse trailer, or kind of a dual combo like this where you have your two cut gates set up like that. If you're interested in this trailer, some other trailers we have on order, or if you want to talk about ordering one yourself, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.